Hey, my name is Julie Fayfan Balzer, and I decided to buy myself a subscription to Scrawlerbox for a year. So every month I'm just unboxing and seeing how I feel about it and giving you my honest opinion about whether I like it, whether I don't, what I think of the products, all that kind of stuff. So let's check it out. Okay, interesting. So they used to include like a little menu card and I often wondered why they had it since they had this scrawler zine, but it doesn't look like the menu cards in there. So I guess they figured that out. So I can see that of course there is candy. Bubblegum flavor, probably not my thing. The sticker, this is the artwork from the artist, which I can see is alcohol inks. And uh, her name is Jess Kirkman. And you can see that in here, they've put alcohol inks. This is a Yupo pad. If you've never used Yupo before, it's um, a paper that you can basically, it's a non-porous surface. There are some different variations made from plastic and all sorts of stuff, but it's a really great surface for alcohol inks. Um, there is a paintbrush right here. I can see it. Um, and there is a straw. This is a paper straw. There's a pipette. And of course, all of the alcohol inks. Now it looks like this is what color? Caribbean or Caribbean. This is magenta. This is the extender. This is diamond sparkle. I've never seen sparkling alcohol ink. Really interesting. Okay, and Oh, the supplies menu is, has a new design, it turns out. So that's what this is. Instead of being a long, thin piece, it is this. So I am going to go ahead and show this straight up to the camera and let you guys take a moment if you're interested in reading anything about any of these. Marabou is a company that uh, I've had a lot of experience with, and their supplies are all great. Um, and I've used Yupo before, and I always love it. And um, I've never tried a Pro Art Masterstroke paintbrush, but we'll see how it goes. And of course, you've seen a paper straw and a pipette. Pretty easy. Let's see what else is in the scrawler zine. So this is the featured artist, Jess Kirkman, and this is some of her work obviously done using alcohol inks. Let's see about the tips. Okay, so some of the tips that I thought were useful is obviously alcohol inks stay in everything, so they even recommend wearing gloves. Um, one thing that they don't say, which I think is very interesting, is I've always read that you're not supposed to use alcohol ink, um, you know, in a closed space without a respirator, and they don't say anything about that. So that maybe these alcohol inks are okay, but that's what I've always heard is you have to be careful. Um, but let's see. This is the gallery from last month of people's art or two months ago in May. And they're talking about some price changes here. And that's about it. Okay, why don't we get started then? Oh, this is not very well attached in here. Okay, this is a very thin, lightweight Yupo. There are some heavier ones that feel quite different to this. And I should note that I'm not wearing a respirator or anything like that. Maybe I will open the window. So a drop. Do I have to cut this tip open? It says shake well. I didn't know you have to shake alcohol inks. This one has a ball in it, I can hear, but the other ones don't seem to. Okay, let me just check if it says that you have to cut them open. Hmm. It doesn't say, but... It doesn't look like anything's coming out. Should I do it? It's hard to tell what's happening here. So I just have an embossing tool and I thought I would poke it in here to see. Yeah, there's a hard piece of plastic there. So that obviously needs to be cut open. I don't know why they didn't say that. <gasps> well, there you go. Alcohol ink everywhere. Well, I can definitely smell it. I don't know where the other half of that went. This is a very pretty color. Okay, let's see what the sparkle does. It's very sparkly, but somehow harder to get out of the bottle. 
doesn't seem to want to come out. Do I have a blockage? Do I need to cut it more? So many questions I have. It feels like maybe I need to cut it more. Well, that doesn't seem to have helped. Could I have a clog in here already? I've barely used this. Yeah, nothing's coming out and I'm squeezing pretty hard. Uh, let me see if I can't stick this embossing tool in here and see. Oh yeah, it felt like there was a blockage. There we go. Okay, sparkle everywhere. And now this is the extender. Now the extender is gonna make everything sort of blend and bleed and do the magic thing that alcohol ink does on a slick surface. So let me take the straw. I can also just roll it. You can see when it's dripped into where there's extender, it goes a little bit further. What am I supposed to do with the pipette? Mixing and adding ink to your work. Okay, I guess if I mixed the colors, then I would put it in the pipette. See if we can't take the brush. dripping some of the extender into what's a little bit dry to kind of create these circles or pools or voids. I'm going to take some of the extender and put it in a bowl and then use my paintbrush here to apply it. Trying to see if I can do some little splats. Ooh, I really like the little splats. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in and I'm gonna try to do some blue splats now. Very cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna call this done. So, I mean, a couple thoughts that I have just having played with this a little bit, which is, you know, I like alcohol inks. I don't really use them very often. They're fun. It's a nice change from pens and pencils, so I really like it. I think they did give you a lot of fun tools. I do think that I'm not even sure how I would use the pipette. I guess I should try. There's some of the blue. So this to me feels the same as dripping it out of the bottle, so I'm not sure. I guess if you mixed a color. But yeah, I think this is really pretty and fun, and for me, um, Alcohol inks are great for um, creating sort of a first layer. There are alcohol ink artists who are talented enough to make all sorts of beautiful representational art. I am not that talented, but you know, this is lots of fun to play with. So this is a good box. I'm happy with this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more tips and tricks, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, sign up for my weekly newsletter, which is totally free and comes to your inbox every Friday.